Shalom, my name is Raha Ernest, and we've been looking into those scriptures that show the love of God for us, that uh, uh, look into the way the people have misinterpreted uh, the love of God and sovereignty of God, and they say that God is in control. But uh, the parable of the prodigal son in Luke 15 give a special um, um, view of what our relationship with God looks like. So let, let's read at this verse 24. When the younger son came back, it says, My son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found and began to celebrate. So this parable, which uh, is in Luke 15, uh, talks about the, the two kinds of relationship we can have with God, or maybe three, but two are detrimental. The first son kind of relationship is detrimental, and, and the second kind of relationship with the son, young, younger son who went away is also detrimental. The older son stayed home, but he was mourning, he was not using the property, he was not uh, enjoying the blessings that uh, the father has given unto him. And the younger son chose to just go away and went and wasted it away. So all two relationships were not that good. And Jesus points us to the fact also that which I want to make a, a point in this uh, uh, video is that God is not in control what you do with the blessings is placed in your life. You are no longer a slave. The Bible says we were a slave to sin but Jesus came to free us when we chose to accept his gift of forgiveness. We become sons of God. A son is free. And uh, we see the younger son use his freedom in a wrong way. And as we see here, you cannot say the father was in control, God is in control, or is sovereign in the way the world defined the world sovereign. Because if he was a servant, he wouldn't have a property. He wouldn't have a choice on whether to live or stay. Slaves stay. They don't say, oh, I'm tired now. Give me my piece of property. I want to go away. He had a choice. We have a choice whether to stay in the love of God, in the presence of God, or to go away because we are sons. And Jesus used this parable to encourage us to do the right thing. Stay in the presence of God. So it's Luke 15, verse 24.